Well, hi there, it's Sylvia, Sylvia Four, Realtor for you. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the idea of downsizing. You know, that's the thing I wrestle with. I don't want to. But you have to think about it because you may really need to, have to, but at least get thinking about it. So here are a few guidelines because, you know, your house is your biggest expense monthly. And as we age, it's just going to be harder and harder to maintain that expense. And we're in a real estate market where this house that you're in probably the cost to sell it could cost just as much to buy a smaller upgraded home that you want to downsize too. So this is why we have to weigh things very carefully. So get out your spreadsheet, especially if you're a bottom line person. If not, call your kids or, or call your realtor and start thinking about these things. It doesn't mean you're gonna be selling right away, but get the process and the gears moving in your head. Get a pro and a con sheet out and uh, look at them all. Some of the things you might wanna look at as far as the cons, you could maybe stay in the same state, but a certain number of miles away, and that could even reduce your insurance and your taxes. Let's say the school system isn't as high as the uh, current community that you're living in. So there's something right there, a few things to think about. Water, sewer, you know, uh, all these different expenses. Uh, gas, um, if you're gonna move that far away, are you gonna have issues of trying to keep the community that you've built here? Which brings me to another point. If you do move away, and a significant move away, you do remember that you've gotta rebuild your community, friends, uh, doctors, even, you know, right down to a gym and that kind of thing, banks and things like that. So these are a number of things to think about. You want to find out, you know, some of your reasons for moving and you want to do this before your health does decline. But number one is health uh, and mobility. So these are, and if the home itself is something that you can work with or even make adjustments in the home, but these are all considerations. Now, a lot of people want to be closer to family, of course. I mean, I remember I moved my mom down here to be with me uh, toward the end of her life, but um, this is where you, you don't want to be isolated. So it's almost better to do it before you're too aged and you have built up that community and of course your medical personnel with new friends and new doctors and such. So get out that spreadsheet, like I said, get out that phone, call your realtor, call your family and toss around some ideas, but then also get the facts, insurance. Is it really gonna be less expensive? Your kids may be in a more expensive area, but it still may be better for you to downsize and move towards them. So your charge is to think about it and get the process going, but I will say that the value of the home that you're going to be moving into should be 20% less than the current value of your home that you're in right now. So good luck, call your realtor, and start putting pen to paper and get an idea of where you're at and where you wanna be. So good to see you guys again. Take care, Sylvia Four for you.